Hello my art friends. Today I'm going to show you how to create The Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh using the watercolor resist technique. So you can do this with crayons, but you can also do this with oil pastels. Today I'm doing it with oil pastels and I already have my colors picked out that I will need. You'll need a gray, a dark blue, a light blue, a orange, a warm yellow, and white. If you don't have a white oil pastel, because that's like the one that gets used up the fastest, I would use a white crown. It'll work just the same. So let's get started. First, we're going to begin with it portrait instead of landscape. Landscape would be this way. I'm going to do a portrait. The reason why is because after we're done with our uh, watercolor resist project, we are going to put the Eiffel Tower in it. How cool would that be? What we're gonna do is you're going to start with your yellow oil pastel or crown, whichever one you're using, and you're gonna create the moon right up here in this top corner. And you're gonna make a big C. That's pretty much how it turns out to be. And then you curve it down, okay? So when you turn it sideways, you could almost put a smiley face. So you're gonna then color it in. Now, whatever areas that are not colored, they will end up having watercolor on them. So make sure if you want this moon totally yellow, you fill it in now completely, no lines in there. Okay. Now I'm gonna go around and put a few stars around because Starry Night has a lot of stars and they're kind of interesting stars because he is part of the Impressionist time period, or not in period, but movement where they created lines to form their artwork. I'm gonna make a big one, some variety. And I'm just doing squiggles because I think that's going to be cool whenever you can see some of the blue when we put in the blue. All right, I might decide later that I want to squiggle somewhere, but right now I'm just going to start with that. Now I'm going to get my warm orange and I might decide I want to go with a darker color. We'll see. Yeah, darker. I'm going darker. Putting that one back. Okay. There we go. Now that is a solid orange. Okay, I'm just gonna outline my moon. Okay. And then we're gonna do some funky curves within our curly ones. And same things with the one, same thing with the little ones. You're gonna just do a little loop, kind of like you're making figure, like the little sixes, you know? That's what it kind of looks like to me. Let me put that one in. Fancy. Okay, so now one thing that you notice in Vincent Van Gogh's work is his insane use of dots, not really dots, but smudge marks. And you see blotchy dots, you see swirls in this. So he's got a really cool sky. That's what catches my attention is all the pretty blues. So I'm gonna use my blue. It doesn't matter which one you start with at all. And you're going to create a wave almost. So I'm gonna go, hmm, I'm gonna start right up in here. And it kind of curls around. There we go. And then I'm gonna create another one that kind of starts inside here and goes around this way. If you want to go off the page, that's cool too. No worries. Okay. And now I'm going to start over here. And I'm going to make another loop that goes this way. And then how about one right in here? I'm just kind of making it up as I go. And then you guys can follow along. How does that sound? Okay. Now I'm going to go in with a gray. 
and do the same kind of swirl look to it, okay? I shouldn't have put that star there. I don't really like it there, but it'll be cool. So there's a circle. And then I'm gonna create one right in here. Okay. And then one here, one here. Aw, did you guys see that? That's so depressing. That's okay. I'll just stick it right in here with it so I can use it later. Okay. So now I'm going to use a little bit of my dark blue and just add some little marks here and there. Okay. Now this is gonna be the hard part is seeing this white, okay? Because the white, you can't really see what I'm drawing on here, but you kind of just have to watch, okay? And then I'll pause the video and have you do it. So um, what you're gonna do is make little half marks, okay? You're not doing a circle around your star, you're doing little half marks. You might actually be able to see this. Little half marks, okay? Not a full circle. Try not to get your crayon or your white into any of the other colors or so you're gonna have a messy one. But that can always be fixed if you wipe it off with a Kleenex, so you're good. I don't have a Kleenex with me, so I'm gonna be careful. Okay, so now I also have my moon. I didn't get my little half lines on because that's technically, it would be just like the stars where you'd want those half marks. So I'm not gonna go in here because that might make a weird shape. So I'm just gonna make those lines come out. And I think I'm gonna go in with my yellow too. Add a few colorful lines just around the moon area. Kind of brings your eye to the moon. All right, I think I got what I want accomplished for that. I'm also gonna take my white and come within these lines and make some more throughout. I think I'm happy with that. All right. Now it's time for the fun part. Okay. So it is time for the watercolor. So set your water oil pastels aside. Collect them to in front of the room if you're in a classroom. And we're going to begin with the watercolors. So What's gonna happen is whenever you touch this watercolor to the oil pastel, the oil pastel don't like it. So it just makes it scoot away, like get away from me water, I, I wanna be dry. So we're gonna get our paintbrushes wet. And you don't wanna have it totally soaked and bring it over to your thing, and to your, water, to your paint palette because it will make your colors really light on here. So, all right, tap it off just a little bit on your water, on your cup. Okay, so I'm gonna go with the blue. So I'm gonna just get it real wet in there. Flip around your uh, paintbrush. 
I want to add a little bit of water. Okay. And what you're going to do is you're just going to go back and forth. Look at that beautiful sky. And you're going to evenly swipe back and forth. You're going to need to add more water to your paint palette, but don't get too crazy, okay? I love watching all those white lines show up. If you see it beading on your on your uh, oil pastels, you need to wipe that off. That way, it doesn't dry like that. Just kind of tap over it because it beads up because it doesn't like that. Remember? Make sure you're covering your entire paper. Remember, you're only using the amount of water to activate the paint. You're not going to dip it every single time. Mine just starts drying, so that's why I have to go back. Okay, there we go. So now that it's a little bit wet, it's probably more dry up near the top because that was the first thing I did. So what I'm gonna do, make sure your paintbrush is nice and cleaned off. We don't wanna go mixing all these colors in here because the next person who has this is will not like all those, all those colors you got put in, going on in there. So I'm gonna take a little bit of black really water it down so it's not too dark when you put it on here and i'm going to put it right along the top just to darken it a little bit give it a little bit of extra oomph And get some purple too. Only the cool colors are going on, okay? I'm making it very patchy. following the lines of the swirls because they add a little extra cool. The less amount of water you use, the more bright, the, the more dark the picture is going to become. So if you add a lot of water to this, you're going to get a light 
purple. If you add a lot of, if you don't have as much color, as much, sorry, as much water, then it won't be as dark. It will be pretty light. So just kind of highlight those colors right in there. Circle around, that's what I'm kind of doing with this purple is kind of just going with the lines that you made, okay? Your flowing lines. And see how it's getting darker? It's because I'm not, I don't, I have barely any water in this paint thing, in the paint palette. How sweet does that look? Pretty awesome if you ask me. I'm gonna add just a few tinges of black in some areas. Okay, and there you have it, your Vincent Van Gogh inspired watercolor resistant masterpiece. Thank you all for watching. Please watch part two with whenever I add the uh, Eiffel Tower. Thank you.